Toyota Ambulance High Medic is the newest addition to Gran Turismo 7. And if there is a racing game that would have such a weird obscure car in it, it is definitely Gran Turismo. And although Toyota Ambulance has caused a little bit of a disturbance in the player base, we're not here to discuss whether this car has place in Gran Turismo or not. We are here to find something to deal with it. Of course, you can go into a custom lobby with your friends or complete strangers and have a fun race with the ambulance there. But what if you wanted an old school single player Gran Turismo action? Well, Polyphony didn't add any new missions with this update, but don't you worry because I have got you covered. I have created my own custom set of challenges for the Toyota ambulance called the emergency sprint. In this set of five missions, you are going to be put into the shoes of an ambulance driver whose task is to get to the patient and rush them back to the hospital in the shortest time possible, all while avoiding the traffic. First, we're going to go through the main settings and rules for these challenges, and I'm going to explain everything in details. Then we're going to look at each of these five challenges individually and see what makes them special. And at the very end, I will show you all the settings and rules once again, but this time together, so you could easily set it up yourself. I will also give you a few useful tips on how to complete these challenges. So, Let's get into it. These challenges use the custom single-player races, so they're very easy to set up. And here's rule number one. Your car must be stock. No upgrades whatsoever, visual or performance, and it must be on comfort medium tires that it comes with. Select your Toyota Ambulance in the garage and then go into the world circuits and select custom race. Here are all the settings you will have to set. Track and the amount of laps we will set later. Number of cars and starting position is set to 20, this is going to be our traffic. And then the rolling star with a 50 meters interval. Boost is off, slipstream strength is on real, and mechanical damage is set to heavy. Tire wear and fuel consumption is on 1x, and grip reduction off track is set to real. Now the weather and time of the day is going to be track dependent and different for each challenge, but you do need to turn on the equal conditions mode. Currently the game only allows one make races with the Toyota Ambulance, so you won't be able to change anything here, apart from rivals difficulty, it has to be set to professional. But if you're watching this in the future and they've changed it for whatever reason, make sure to set your race type to one make. Now shortcut wall collision and car collision penalties are turned on and set to heavy. In regular in-game missions all those things would just fail the mission for you immediately. But here if you cut corners, wall ride or shove traffic out of the way, the game will give you huge penalties so try to avoid doing that. And finally correct vehicle course, pit lane cutting penalty and flag rules are turned off. If you set all these settings exactly how I have them, you can save them, so then in the future you only need to change the track, amount of laps and the weather for each of the challenges. Now that we are ready to start the race, here's your goal. Complete the race in the shortest possible time while following the rule number two. You have to drive through the pits at some point during the race. Cancel the tire change and refueling, just drive in and drive out. This cannot be done on the very final lap of the race, so if your race is three laps long, you can either pit at the end of lap one or lap 2. You can't do it on the final lap. At the end of the race you will see your total race time and this is your result for this challenge. To make it even more interesting I have worked out gold, silver and bronze times for these challenges so you can try to beat them. And now let's take a look at each of these five challenges. Tokyo Expressway Central layout is the shortest but most importantly the tightest. If you absolutely nail every corner you can drive around the whole track full throttle in this car. Unfortunately traffic will make it very difficult if not impossible. You will need near on perfect precision to find your way through the traffic with the minimal time lost. The pit lane is quite long here so think about when is the best opportunity to do your drive through. Tokyo Expressway, and especially East Clockwise, is all about maximizing your cornering speed by getting as close to the walls as possible. But how well can you do it during the night and torrential rain conditions? And of course, as you already know, traffic won't make it easier. There is a lot of time to be lost and gain in the rain, and this challenge will push your wet weather driving skills to the limit to clear that goal time. South clockwise layout is probably the easiest track in this set of challenges, but there are two main points of this track that are going to play a big role. First being the turn 5 hairpin. 
Considering how slow the Toyota Ambulance is, it is crucial to nail the braking and the exit for the hairpin because otherwise the time loss will be huge. Second, and maybe the most dangerous, is the chicane at the end of the lap. Obviously, you want to carry as much speed as possible, but it comes with the risk of pushing the limits too far and either ending up in the wall or receiving a penalty, both of which is going to destroy your attempt. An important note here, you can do your drive-through on this track on any lap. The rule about not being allowed to do it on the final lap doesn't apply here, since the pit lane is located in the middle of the track rather than on the start-finish straight. For challenge number 4, we are moving away from Japan and all the way to the United States. Although Grand Valley Highway 1 is the widest track in this set of missions, it still poses a unique challenge. There's no runoff area around the road and the track limits are brutal, so you have to choose your overtaking spots very carefully. Additionally, the pit lane at Grand Valley is incredibly long, which means that you will have to deal with a lot of traffic not only on the start, but also after you complete your drive through And for the final challenge, we are in Italy at Sardegna Road Track A. This was by far the most difficult challenge in my testing. And the reason for it is that it combines everything that made all the previous challenges difficult. The public roads part of the track is very tight, the whole track consists of slow 90 degrees corners, and the pit lane is very long. It took me 8 tries to get gold on this challenge, even though I created it myself and tested it many times. So if you can beat gold times in all of these challenges, especially the final one, you can safely say that you've truly mastered the emergency sprint challenges and you are now a certified Gran Turismo ambulance driver. Now let's run through the settings and rules once again, just so you could easily check whether you've done everything correctly, but it should be pretty simple. Here are all the custom race settings, make sure you put them exactly as they are here, otherwise your results won't count. And also don't forget to save the settings so you don't have to put them all in for each challenge. These are the two main rules for the challenges. Rule 1, your Toyota ambulance must be stuck. Rule 2, during the race you have to drive through the pits once, no tire change or refueling required. You're not allowed to do it on the very final lap of the race, challenge 3 is an exception, there you can do it on any lap. And here is the breakdown of individual track, laps, time of the day and weather settings for each challenge together with gold, silver and bronze times. Lastly, I wanted to share a few small tips and notes that you may find useful for the emergency sprint. There is a little bit of RNG involved in these challenges. The AI behavior, for example, can change ever so slightly every time you reload the race. Additionally, even though all the weather conditions are set and equal conditions are on, they still might change ever so slightly every time you load up the race. So if you feel like these factors are holding you back from getting the time that you want, try reloading the race completely instead of just restarting it once you finish. It is also technically possible to beat the goal time without winning the race. It has never happened in any of my testing, but it is a possibility. In that case, don't worry, your time still counts. It's just you're gonna have to calculate it yourself with the gap to the leader and their total race time instead of just seeing your total race time. And finally, if you don't believe me that these goal times are possible, or maybe you want just a little bit of guidance on how to clear these challenges, I have linked all of my individual runs below in the description of this video so you can watch them if you want. And now it's time for you to get to it and try to beat all of the goal times in the emergency sprint. I hope you enjoyed these challenges and it gave you something interesting to to do with an otherwise seemingly useless car in the game. Obviously, please let me know how your runs went, what your best times are and what you had difficulties with. You can either do it right here in the comments or you could also join my Discord server and discuss this and many other topics with my amazing community. And if you do post your times on Twitter, please tag me or use hashtag emergency sprint so I could find it. I hope you have a great time with these challenges. Thank you so very much for watching. I wish you all the best and I'll see you next time.